Welcome back to SOG TV everyone, Mike here once again and we're back today playing Project Cars career mode uh, in the Clio Cup. Next up we have round three at Silverstone. So we're just going to jump into practice, um, obviously going to do a few laps, get used to the circuit layout, see how we get on uh, and then we can crack on with some qualifying. <laughs> Okay, and so after practice, uh, we are last, we're 20th, <laughs> 1.7 seconds off, we only got 5 laps in um, as we come back in the pit lane and made a, a change to uh, our brake cooling ducts, actually, uh, and then we're back out on cold tyres, so we are a little bit off the pace, I'm not 100% sure if 1.7 is a fair amount but we are struggling a little bit to um, to get the grip really so I think we jump into qualifying and, and just see how we do Three, but remember it's the race result that counts. Outside the top three, <laughs> just by a bit. Um, so, pretty terrible qualifying, really, for us. We we were well off the pace. Um, a little bit faster than we were in practice, but I think this is probably a track where we need to put put the time into setup work. And you know, I don't really want to do this. Uh, I don't really want to do that on this career playthrough. Uh, our title ride was in 10th and a lot closer to pole than we are, that's for sure. Um, so I think we're just going to jump into race one and see how we get on really. Uh, I'm not sure we've got a particularly fast car but um, hopefully we can make some places up and continue our championship push. So let's jump in race one, see how we go. Okay, so we can't really deceive ourselves there we're we're quite far back um let's try and make up some ground here off the light Keep it yeah clean. If you want to burn you. pretty much what he just said we need to make up a bit of ground okay it's not a bad start um i kind of want to go to the inside here but i also know that's going to be quite slow on the exit but i think i'll take that just so we can get some places hopefully That threw us off a little bit, but we got there. Could have ended in disaster. Okay, eighth place. It's not a bad start. Um, a bit worried that as things settle down, though, people are just going to be passing us because you know the pace just clearly is in there, as we saw from the qualifying.
I mean, normally with a car, it's sort of good at something on a track, whether it's braking, you know, traction, mid corner grip. Um, this thing's pretty poor all round, unfortunately. And I don't really know why without spending the time going through the setup. Um, it's funny, really, you know, it's the same setup as we've used, or well, the same basic setup, anyways, we've used for, for Donington and Snesterton. And the car is a lot more competitive there than it is here. Uh, it's obviously quite a unique circuit in terms of setup. And trying to do sort of the quick career playthrough, we, uh, we're just not spending the time setting the car up. And we're suffering here, unfortunately. Hopefully, it's the only circuit like that. Um, keeping up with the pack in front of us at all. It's very frustrating. You know, it's washing out there, the front left looks like it's overheating. I think we probably could have spent a bit more time, uh, even if it's just playing with tyre pressures. But we don't really have a long enough practice session to get the tyres up to temperature. Yep, cheers. We don't really have the time to do an adjustment, get the tyres warm, check it, come back, do another adjustment. I imagine we're going to be starting last in the next race as well. I'm not sure we get as lucky or have the opportunities anyway to make up as many places off the start as we did there. I nearly lost it on the kerb. Someone on the inside and the outside. Guy on the inside is pushing me on. Thanks very much, mate. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. That's what I was afraid of that we just haven't got the pace, so we're going to get swallowed up. Front left's really overheating now as well, which is killing us. And we're having sound issues. Fantastic. This couldn't really go much worse if we tried. Brakes are overheating now, actually. Now I've said it couldn't go much worse. Yeah, they look pretty hot. Uh, last lap, see if we can at least hold on to ninth place. It's not something I wouldn't be saying at the start of this race, but there we go. track there a little bit as well. I wasn't too sure how much grip we're going to have with this front left being as hot as it is. But a little bit cheaty but at this point I'll take it. Yeah those brakes have really gone off. A couple more corners to go, only one braking area. Well, 
Got terrible race. <laughs> Yay, no place. The heroes. That was uh that was painful. That was very, very painful. So we somehow still managed to finish ahead of our title rival. Uh I finished seventeenth. Although I'm not too sure he's gonna be the rival after a couple of bad results like that. We might have yeah, we've had some other guys move up. A lot closer to us now without taking any wins but um, still I suppose we've got some points on the board there it's better than nothing okay then so on to race two yeah as we as we feared we're at the back of the grid again um, we can't even think of like a better pit stop strategy to try and improve uh, some places during the you know the pit stop so um, let's just jump in and see how we get on again Let's make a good start and see if we can make up a few Fourth places gear, into the first corner. The first lap is the best chance to make up some time. Our race engineer is some kind of genius as well, isn't he? You know, why haven't we thought of that? Why, why don't we try and make up places on the first lap off the line? Let's not go inside this time. Let's see if we're running out a little bit. Gives us a better exit. Uh, not really. Wasn't the worst thing in the world. Bit more contact than I wanted there. Let's see if we get any helpful chaos this lap. Only 14 for the moment, that's not great. I think uh, the last couple of races we dived in the pit lane on the first lap during race two, so maybe we'll try and hang on this time round until uh, pretty much the end and see if that makes any difference to where we can end up. Oh. AI there, getting a bit confused. Okay, we've got a warning from the race director for cutting the track. Need to respect the track limits. Oh, there's chaos back here. Don't think our team's very really happy with the state of this car at the end of the race. Just hope we don't sustain any damage. We do have full damage on, so if we do have any impacts that are too hard, we're going to slow ourselves down. But good run. What is he doing? Still 15th. Looks like there's one on your tail. Start defending your position. Cover the inside line in the braking areas. Oh, this car is just terrible. There's no brake marker balls left at Vale now at all, which isn't going to help. I'm not sure this could go any worse. Pretty much, I think we're 19th. Um, I mean, this is just going to be a bit of a write off round, really. Uh, if we can get anywhere near 9th again, I think I'll probably be happy. Um, I'm not sure where the next round's going to be. Hopefully, it's a circuit we're getting a little bit better at. We've just got no mid corner grip. We're rubbish on the brakes. We don't have much speed down the straight. Uh, there's not really a lot this car seems to be good at. I don't know how it could be so different circuit to circuit. I certainly think the tyre pressures are wrong, that's number one. Um, I 
My driving's probably not helping much either. It's finding it hard to drive around the problems really. Because there's so many of them. Okay, so we're going to come into the pit lane this lap. Probably should have practiced a pit lane entrance at some point as well. Got to remember that for the future. Ah, oh, it's okay. The guys in front of us are sort of showing us the way, although... I see how much speed we can get away with here. That's alright, it brings us on to the... Uh, automatic pit control quite early on, so that's okay. So if we can hold up some of these guys a little bit. Come on guys, do us a favour. As quick as you can, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, it's so painfully slow, isn't it? Go, go, go. Come on. Wow. Too sure what's going on with these positions. Um, seems to be moving around a lot, but it's settled at 17th. <laughs> 17th. That's that's painful. It probably won't even be 17th by the end of this. So, terrible result, 17th, let's, uh, let's just try and forget about that one quite quickly, I think we can move on, that's about all we can do. Four points. Like quite a good weekend for Joshua Brown. And that brings him up to fourth in the championship. We somehow still leaving him with a lead, uh, 16 points. We've still got the most wins. Um, I think we have to take that. We've got, I think, two more rounds to go. Uh, hopefully there are tracks where we can get the car a bit further up the grid. Um, certainly make life a lot easier. Um, let's have a quick return to dashboard actually, we'll see where those circuits are, or at least the next one, um, and then I think we'll call it a day there. Okay, so the next event then in the clear cut round four is going to be Autumn Park. Uh, it's actually a circuit I quite enjoy, so that's good news. I think um, certainly unless we have any kind of big setup issues like we did at Silverstone, uh, that's right, I'm blaming the setup. Um, we should be a lot more competitive. Hopefully, we can qualify higher up, and you know, therefore, gives us a much better chance in the race of doing well. Thanks for joining us once again today. Hope you've enjoyed this episode of Project Cars Career Mode in the Clio Cup. Um, 
as always if you like what you've seen please give us a thumbs up for this video it really means a lot to us and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more great content uh, hopefully on a regular basis